Today, is that Jenny? You're right. Oh, there's no one in the market at all. Hey, I wish there was something to do. Is there any tidying up? No, we've done it all. Where's Dibs? Oh, he went off for a walk. Oh, mm. We'll just have to get through the day. Somehow. Hang on a minute. I have got some things underneath the stall I'd forgotten. Indira's scarf. <gasps> and these are off Gary's stall. Oh, I'll unwrap one. Mmm, that's nice. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, what can we play with these? <sighs> I've got it. Quick, Jenny, before Dibs comes back, help me to hide all these little presents all over the stall. We can put some underneath the fruit and some on top. Right. right. There. Oh, look, there's Dibs. Dibs, don't look at the stall. Oh, oh, right, why not? Oh, it's all right, it's all right, it's only a game. Oh, good. Uh, use Indira's scarf to cover up his eyes. Good idea, good idea. Hold on. Right, move your hand now. Great. Can you see anything? Only black. Great. Now, Dibs, yeah. listen very carefully to us. Yeah. Put your hand on the stall. Now, lift it up. And move it forward. I see what the game is. We've got to help him find the presents. Oh, are there presents? Yes. Right, now. Move your hand forward a bit more. Now back a little bit. And down. What can you feel? Something round and big. A melon? Right, now feel in front of the melon. I got one! Yay! Yay! Well Great. done, Dibs! Well, Is there another one? Oh, yes, there's lots. Oh, lift, great. lift your hand up again. Now, move your hand along and across the stool. And down. And what can you feel? A banana. Right. Now feel under the banana. Yeah! <laughs> another one. I'm good at this, aren't I? Yeah. yeah, I put my hand up. And you move it forward again. Yeah. And move it along. No, no not, not that, that way. way. The, the other, other way. way. Oh. That's it. Towards me. And a little bit nearer and stop. Now, put your hand down. What can you feel? I can feel a cauliflower. Next to the cauliflower. Another cauliflower! Right. Feel in between two cauliflowers. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Let's unwrap them now. Good yeah. idea. I mean, I'll take this off. Mm. Oh, thanks. Mm. Oh, aren't they pretty? Yeah. Oh. Jenny? Yeah? Why have you only got one earring? Oh, I must have lost the other one. Help me find it, you two. Oh, yeah. Hey, I can see it. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Wait a minute. Jenny, put mm -hmm. the scarf round your eyes. We'll play the game again. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Dibs, yeah. Dibs, where, Hold on. where is that earring? There. Right. Ready? I put my hand up. And move it forward a bit. Now, back a bit. Now, forward a bit. Now, back a bit. Oh, come on, you two. You're teasing me. Get on with no, it. No, no, really. You have to move it forward a bit. Stop again. Now, hand down. 
What can you feel? Grapes. What's behind the grapes? Pumpkin? Feel on top of the pumpkin. Yay! <laughs> well done, you two. Well done. Jenny, you were quite good at that game in the end, weren't you? Oh, thanks very much, Dibs. But not as good as you. What if your hair was longer than you? You'd have to watch out. It might catch in your shoe. What if your hair was as long as a bed? You could pile it all up on top of your head. What if your hair was as high as the trees? It might be a home for the squirrels and bees. What if your hair was as high as the sky? It will get in the way of things that fly by. What if your hair went right up to space? I'd cut it. Then it would be in the right place. Nearly time to go home to bed. Read us a bedtime story then, Jenny. All right, this is a lovely one. It's called Ten Sleepy Sheep. I love sheep, me. One night when Lewis couldn't sleep, Papa brought him a glass of water. Mama read him a story and Grandma sang him a song. Go to sleep, my baby. But Lewis was as wide awake as ever. <sighs> so Grandpa tucked him back in bed and said, Count sheep. The first sheep had a red balloon. The second had a drum. Three and four jumped through a hoop. And five played an old tin horn. The sixth sheep carried a plate of biscuits. 
the seventh had some streamers. Eight and nine brought a bowl of punch. And ten came blowing bubbles. Lewis's room was full of sheep. They danced around his bed and had a party. Oh, da 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 Please, Lewis shouted. I'm trying to sleep. But the sheep were making too much noise to hear. So one by one, Lewis picked them up and put them into bed. He brought each one a glass of water, read them a story, and sang them a song. Go to sleep, my Baba. Soon, the sheep were all asleep. There was nothing more to do. <sighs> so Lewis climbed in beside them and went to sleep too.